Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. The issues in the APC, the internal squabbles, where you find the heavyweights in some of the states that the APC controls in the country, is what has gotten us talking. Well, the fact that the president, Asadu, the former governor of uh, Lagos State, Bola Tinubu, with the task of reconciling the party. But if you look at it, in River State, these two men are not on the same page. In fact, they held a, uh, an event on the weekend, two of them, we're talking with oppo uh, opponents. Well, in other states, for example, also in Kogi State, the governor and Senator Melai are not also singing from the same hymn book. And other states like Kaduna or your state and several other states like that, that APC controls, it looks so much that a party is standing apart. What is the way out for the APC, the ruling party in Nigeria? Mr. Ogunamisi, with what we're seeing on the ground in the APC, usually when parties are in power, there seems to be uh, a factor, a unifying factor, because they are in power. But with the fever of 2019 catching really fast, do you think the APC can get itself together? Well, the APC is actually the party to beat in 2019, despite the, the crisis in the party. Uh, when it's, when, it's, when in, in every political party, even in advanced democracies, when it's close to election, there will be the struggle for resources, the struggle for power. It's not a struggle for power on behalf of the people. It's a self-centered uh, scheme by political players within political parties to have access to control resources. And the fact that this crisis is actually coming into the into open now is as a result of the fact that close to 2019, participants want to be governors. Let me give you a two quick example. In Kaduna State, uh, there are two opposed. There is the governor, there is Sheh Usani. Sheh Usani has ambitions to become governor, so he has to start playing the role of opposition even within the political party and in order cutting across the federation. But the real question, Sheh is how come APC did not set itself the task to unite the country? because the crisis within the APC is a replica of the crisis we have in Nigeria. As a ruling party, uh, there's been this crisis in terms of um, Southeasterners having problems with the rest of the country, Westerners, people, uh, 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 massive division across the country. Why didn't the ruling party set up a committee to strengthen and unite Nigerians so that we can queue behind the programs of the political party, APC? But they've not done that because they are about to as for our votes in 2019, they need to present themselves as a formidable force, force in the country. They now have to reconcile themselves uh, being a united front. But that will not stop people who want to leave the party from joining or uh, cross carpeting so that they can capture All right. the resources. Let, let, let's, uh, let's hear from uh, Mr. Okechuku on this one. If you look at it, the man that is the, re the reconciler in the party now, uh, former governor of Lagos State, uh, is said also not to be in good talking terms with uh, the chairman of the party, uh, Chief Oyegun. And in fact, uh, there are also uh, signals that he's not also in, on, on the same page with the Senate president. These are some of the internal issues within the party. And so the question will come. The ramification and the people that are involved in this fight. How easy will it be to put them together on the same room and reconcile them? Is it not late in the day? Let me start by saying that actually, history has taught us that the bigger the market in the political domain, the more the noise. The APC uh, today is very attractive to a lot of people, as Ogunda uh, Mishi said, that want to run for offices. And don't forget, all we are trying to do is how to maintain the vote bank that President Muhammad Buhari had always had in all the successive elections, 12 point something million vote bank. And uh, when we add what Ashwa Jewel achieved by tying the knots, and there are all that prominent uh, party members like uh, the Minister of Transport, Transportation, uh, Rotimi Chubika Mechi, and others who are also working on the ground trying to tie up other ends, 
In Enugu, where I come from, for instance, uh, distinguished uh, uh, Senator Kenneth Kenneth Namani have been working to get all the pieces in Enugu tied together, and it's happening across the board. We are doing so because we want to present the Nigerian people with a formidable and concise party and an election that will not be mad by any or much irregularities. Because the more united the ruling party will be, the more peaceful the election will be. On what uh, my friend was saying about uh, uniting the country, we have looked into part of the problem the country has. And what did President Muhammad Buhari did? He kind of tied it up. One, part of the crisis on the ground is because of gross unemployment. And he is now doing what I call the RRAP, rails, roads, agro-revolution, and increase of power supply. President Muhammad Buhari is targeting 5,000 standard gauge kilometer of rail line across the country, the coastal rail line, the standardization of uh, Lagos Kano, the Medugri Poracot, and connecting all the state capital and commercial towns. Then the Suku Fund, 25 roads, cutting across all the regions. Luckily for us, nobody had talked that President Muhammad Buhari is, is dismissing anybody. And so is the agro-revolution going on from, on behalf of the federal government. Today, we are halting the food importation. So this is also a sign of the fact that we will bear the people in, in our mind, and we know what the Nigerian people actually want. So nobody can say we have not set up an idea on how to unite the country. All right. Because the more employed, the, where Ogunda Missy lives in London, while there is peace there, or you see people, a lot of people watching football, it's because they have provided for their citizenry. All right, we, we, we must go, with. Mr. Okechuku. Okay, but let me allow uh, Mr. Ogunamisi to close for us in 30 seconds. Do you think the biggest uh, danger for the APC in terms of the pressure that it has now is on the inside or the pressure from outside? Just in 30 the seconds. Biggest, the, the biggest danger Shim, for the APC is that when people go to vote in 2019, they will see... Uh, uh, farmers that have been uh, victims of Fulani headsmen. They will see Fulani headsmen that have been victims of farmers. They will see their purchasing powers and they will see that it's not strong enough to take them home the next day. They will look at electricity and they will ask themselves if it was better than when Jonathan and the other characters that uh, Ms. Rudolph were there before. They will see whether President Buhari had lived uh, to the, his word about fighting right. corruption. And, and those, that's what will determine whether they vote for the APC, right. not whether Tinubu will unite the party or not. Mr. Kaiode Ogunamisi, political analyst, thank you so much for your time on the program. And also, Chieftain of the APC, DG of Voice of Nigeria, Mr. Osita Okechuku, many thanks for your time tonight on the program. Well, unfortunately, we could not connect with the spokesperson of the People's Democratic Party, but we will do well to bring him back on the program. But that's our show for tonight, everyone. Many thanks for being part of it. I'm Shion Wakimale. Bye-bye.